Sing Along Parade is held on the third Sunday in January every year. It is the biggest festival in Cebu. The dance revolves around the Santa Nina, which you can see the lady dancing here with. The origins go back to when the Spanish first arrived. If you go to Fort St. Pedro in downtown Cebu, in the museum, you can see the history of this. The Filipinos before believed in spirits, so uh, they call them anitos. And then when they were converted already, they now believe in this image, the Santa Nina or the baby Jesus. This one, uh, this image was given to Queen Juana by Magellan as a gift because uh, they agreed to be converted. And then this one here, every festival, the Sinolo, which happened last Sunday, uh, there will be that one lady holding the image dancing. So uh, the first one who danced that one is the festival queen was Queen Juana. So uh, they represent her yeah. in the dancing. It's like a uh, tradition already said one is that there will be that one lady holding the image dancing during the festival. The parade seems to get bigger and bigger every year. It's colourful, it's loud, it's noisy. Dancers dress up in colourful costumes. The dancers come from all over Cebu and different parts of the Philippines. If you want to get closer inside the ropes to take pictures of the parade, you'll have to get a pass for this. This can be arranged through the official website, which I'll put on the screen. The price is about 1,500 pesos. The website also has the route map of the parade. Just the sheer size of the parade causes traffic chaos. There's lots of roads are blocked off and it is really hard to get a taxi that day as well. I would recommend booking a hotel that's within walking distance of the parade. So those areas would include downtown, around Capital Area, Ramos Street, and Fuente. Even hotels near Ayala Shopping Mall would be walking distance. If you're staying on Mactan Island and the resorts, you might find it a bit of a hassle getting back as taxes are a nightmare to catch and they take advantage of the fiesta to make an extra buck. One single look, it took me over one hour to get a taxi and then he charged me three times the amount it should have been. Whenever there's a Filipino celebrity, the crowd goes wild. As you can see, the crowds can get four to five rows thick. And some areas get really bottlenecked. I know some people just hate the crowds and they rather watch it on TV. I like coming down to it because it has a really good atmosphere. The Sabanos are very fun loving people, so it's great to see what they get up to. Make sure to take plenty of water and good walking shoes. You'll be on your feet all day. You'll have sore legs by the end of it, but it's a good day out. Overall, I love coming to this fiesta, watching the colourful costumes and dancing, the friendly locals. The whole Sing Along Festival is just so much fun. While it's not for everybody, as it can get extremely crowded and noisy. I think I've been five times now, and this one was the best one that I've experienced so far. If you haven't been to Cebu before, January is a perfect time to come. The weather tends not to be as hot as other parts of the year. Accommodation books out pretty quickly, so you should be looking to book four to five months ahead. A lot of the hotels have a three night minimum stay, so if you're looking to book online, make sure to put a minimum of three nights in and expect to pay twice or three times the normal amount. Thank you so much for watching. My next video is on the street parties at night.